everyone. This is Khalil Lula reporting from Teens in the D. Welcome to National Nail Your Day Reports. November 3rd is National Nail Your Day, and on this day, BGLO members have been issued the challenge to wear their nail ya or organization colors proudly all day. The purpose of Nail Your Day is to show our communities how our sororities and fraternities give added value to, in society and across the nation in our respective communities. More importantly, they not only step or party, they vote. With the founding of the first African-American fraternity in 1906, the fraternity and sorority system in our communities have helped improve daily living when it comes to education, skill and job development, and health-related projects. Many of these members serve as teachers, clergy, government officials, and business leaders in everyday life. To see BGLO members collectively wearing their nail ya on November 3rd will not only make a statement to their missions and aim, but will also serve as a visual reminder to young people like me the importance of voting because it needs to be taken seriously. Today, I have a member from an organization here to talk about what he will be wearing on November 3rd. First, let's learn from him why voting is so important and how his organization has educated the masses on why vote and the importance of embracing the power of the vote. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Darren Thomas. We're happy to have you with us today. First, tell us why voting is important to you and how has your organization influenced you and others about the importance of voting? Thank you, Khalil. Um, you know, Khalil, for me, voting has been a uh, critical part of who I am, my framework. I, I grew up in a very rural part of South Carolina where my father, who was uh, um, not college educated, was the first African-American um, elected to the school board in my in my community. This was right after integration. So I saw the power of voting up front and personal because I, I experienced it. I saw the galvanization of people in the communities, the, the church groups, and just helping folks to understand why they needed to vote, why the voting was important in the local as well as general elections. I also remember sitting back with my father in 1976 and watching the election returns come in when Carter was running against Gerald Ford. And, and just in my family unit, in my extended family, my grandmother having worked the polls for many years, um, voting was such an important part uh, to our family. And so it became an important uh, part of who I am. And I recognized that, you know, why it was important to us as a community, as a people, and specifically in moving our agenda forward as, as a nation. Now, interestingly enough, while you know, I, was, I was equally impressed with all the Divine Nine or, or the four African-American fraternities, and I went to a PWI, predominantly white university. However, one of the things that impressed me with Alpha was that uh, in order for me to pledge, I had to be a registered voter. And they made that very clear when I went to my first interest group meeting. Um, you know, aside from the fact that there were so many men of Alpha who were at the forefront of voting, turning back Jim Crow laws, um, making certain that voting was a part of that, put their lives on the line, as, as did so many other um, members of Divine Nine organizations. But for me, recognizing that, and I had three line brothers, I was on a uh, line of seven, who weren't registered and made it very clear, if you guys are going to continue with this process, brothers, you guys got to get, get, get registered. Uh, otherwise, you will never become alpha. So, you know, the fraternity made voting not only a, a, a huge part of its platform, but it believed that it should start with its membership. And in order for you to become a member, you had to be a registered voter. Yeah, that's really interesting. I, I never knew that, you know, you had to be a registered voter to be a part of Alpha Phi Alpha. So that's something to keep in mind for sure. Um, that'll bring me into the second question. What are you wearing now and what do you plan to be wearing on November 3rd? So Khalil, what I'm wearing now is my Alpha Phi Alpha vote shirt. And fortunately for me, I've had this wonderful opportunity to serve all the Divine Nine. Uh, I would estimate over the last, uh, oh God, for uh, two or three months, we've probably sold a good 4,000 shirts for Divine Nine, and I mean everybody across the board, across the board. So I, I'm very proud of the shirt, but I'm also proud of the work we've done. You know, Roland Martin giving us a shout out on national TV. 
Um, we had some, uh, some Omegas in the state of Washington, had a huge drive out there and they were all wearing shirts and they, they, they gave a shout out to my partner and I, um, you know, Deltas, AKs, everyone, uh, SG Rose. Uh, we've been very fortunate and it's kind of spilled over because we've done shirts for the Lynx, for Jack and Jill. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot of um, 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 overlapping between the organizations. But um, for me, um, I'm, you know, I wear this shirt proudly. And, and on election day, uh, depending on the weather, uh, I'm going to actually either have this shirt on or my sweatshirt. One of the things that I'm doing differently on election day is that um, I've, I've, I'm working with Congressman Jim Clyburn, who uh, is a great Omega man. He's He's a, uh, uh, he and I are both a uh, member of another, another fraternity, Sigma Pi Phi, and uh, we've identified a, a black precinct that we are going to hire a, a food truck to come and provide meals uh, so that people can, um, as they come out, we're encouraged to just come vote on your lunch hour if you've not voted, and if it's doing so, have a meal on behalf of Greek traditions. And uh, we're just trying to find ways, to creative ways to get our, make certain our people vote so we can help some down um, candidate, down ballot candidates and just help people just, just driving the vote, getting people from this particular precinct um, out to vote. And, you know, we think it's a very unique way um, as well. Yeah, that's really cool. Like that pin, I really, that's really interesting. I really agree that black votes do matter for sure. Um, yeah. Um, I want to thank you for coming on to this show today and sharing some wisdom with me and everybody that was watching. You certainly inspired me today. Thank you so much, man. I, I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to meet with you and talk with you. I'm very impressed and uh, I, I'm thankful. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming again. Thanks for having me. Um, and when it comes to November 3rd, start thinking, who will you be wearing? Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Khalil, part of Teens in the Deep.